Hey guys, it's Julia. Welcome to this week's vlog. So this is going to be a week in my life living in West Hollywood. If you're new here, um, hi, I'm Julia. Subscribe to my channel. Um, if you're not new, what's up? Welcome back. Um, if you haven't seen, I already uploaded the moving to LA vlog because I actually lived here a year ago, but I've been home for the pandemic and now I moved back into a whole new place and am kind of getting situated back in LA again. Um, but this week, so today is Wednesday, it's St. Patrick's Day. You can't tell, but this is green. I feel like it looks gray on camera, but this is green, so we're good. Um, but if you haven't seen my moving to LA vlog, watch it, kind of go over like decorating and everything. We're not totally done. We still have to get some things together. I'm sitting here on my couch, but yeah, today is St. Patrick's Day. Um, no crazy plans except I need to go to Target. <laughs> so that's fun. And then also I think tonight I might go to Saddle Ranch for drinks just to celebrate St. Patty's a little bit, but it's at, our reservation is at nine and it's a weeknight, so I'm a little hesitant, might um, cancel, but yeah. So another part of this vlog that is um, a little exciting is I have some really crazy news and that is that I got a puppy. <laughs> So I will show the puppy in a second, but I kind of want to give a little update on that. So I moved to LA with no intention whatsoever of having a dog. And literally a week after I got here, I got a dog because I went to pick up Facebook Marketplace stools, um, bar stools. They're really cute. They're back there. And they were selling a little baby Pomeranian. So... I just couldn't resist, I had to get him. Um, and then I guess now would be a good time for me to show him, but I want it to be like good lighting. But, oh my God, it was so spontaneous. I was honestly having a really hard time trying to decide like if I should do it or not. Um, but I kind of felt like the universe placed him in my lap. Like when I was moving in, like everyone here has dogs and I kept looking at the dog, like everyone with their dogs and thinking like, Oh, that would be nice. And like, I have dogs at home and I really missed them. And then like, I picked these random bar stools off Facebook Marketplace that are like really funky, like retro vintage vibes. Like I could have thought they were ugly. Like it's a, they're very particular. I'm like, no, I like those. And then I go there and um, there's a puppy for me. Okay. I'm gonna go get Bear. Actually, he'll come here when I call him. So one second. Bear, come here. Come here, Bob. <gasps> Hi, come here, little man. Let's show you to my YouTube fam. Everyone, say hi to Bear. He is so cute. He's really squirmy right now, um, but he's black as you can tell, which I'm like obsessed with because I didn't want to be too basic and get a white palm. Um, he has a little something in his hair, but oh my gosh, he's literally the, just this little fluff ball angel. He's got away four pounds or maybe even less, like three. I'm out of focus all of a sudden. Um, but yeah, he is the best. Name's Bear because he looks like a little bear cub. He's so sweet. He's definitely a little bit crazy because he's like, I just woke him up from a nap. He's tired all. Um, but yeah, we're having a lot of fun with him. He comes places with us. He's such a good boy. Um, and he's honestly literally just like the cutest little guy ever. Yeah, so anyways, now that you guys have met Bear and I've kind of sprung that on y'all, let's get going into the week in my life. Udo, look at that little face. Oh. <laughs> but okay, so I'm gonna take him to pee. This is the fit of the day. Honestly, I rarely, like unless I'm really doing something, I don't like get all 
fit it up. So I had just have like my cute necklaces on, my little dark green sweatshirt and some black sweats. And then I'll just put on some like white sneaks. And then Bear is just always following me around. He's so cute, don't look at my toes. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take him out to pee and then I'm gonna go to Target. Hey guys, in the car driving. I'm in the car driving. I was just gonna be innocent, go to Target, be more responsible. But I actually just decided that I'm gonna go to Air One. So basic, but we're going to Air One because I realized I'm starving. I haven't ate anything today. It's two o'clock. Well, I had like a couple bites of a kale salad, but it just wasn't doing it for me. So I need some food and Air One, I can go and like grab something and they have tables outside and I can sit by myself and it won't be too weird, you know? It's not like I have to like go out to lunch and eat by myself, no. That's not gonna happen. So we're just gonna go to Air One, probably get sushi, not gonna lie, and um, sit at one of the tables outside and eat alone and then go to Target. Um, but yeah, also I kind of feel like treating myself and Air One is definitely treating myself. So that's the new plan. All right, we out here eating by ourselves, trying to FaceTime my mom. I changed into this little Hidden Jewels get up. Ignore the mess because this whole dog situation is such an eyesore, first of all. And then we were working out here, so the table is there. But this is Hidden Jewels, my clothing brand. We now have like other hoodies and streetwear and like logo stuff, but this is some of the OG tie-dye I threw on to be in the spirit. Very cute. Um, I think I'm in the mood to make a smoothie. Also, I wanted... Um, everyone to let me know if they would be interested in a what I eat in a day. I don't know if a what I eat in the day would be interesting, but I do eat some really good stuff. I'm kind of in a routine now, so just because I feel like a smoothie, because I've not had a lot to eat today, I'm gonna make a smoothie. Okay guys, the delish smoothie is ready to be poured. So, here we go. A glass for Luis and a glass for me. Ooh, that looks so good. So it's really comparable to the Joe and the Juice, like banana date cacao drink, but I honestly think I do it better. So, yeah. Hey guys, haven't updated you in a while. We're out here at Saddle Ranch. Say what up! <laughs> this is the cotton candy. Uh, what's it called? Giant cotton candy cocktail. And this is what it looks like inside. Diana be looking good. Sunset Tower behind her. That's what I saw. A me. true vibe for St. Patty's. Is this a cool picture of me? Yeah, right no, here? it's actually so good. And then there's like paparazzi taking pictures of some TikTokers. <laughs> Take a picture of me low key. We're old, so we so can't relate, but no, on my phone. Good morning. It is Thursday morning. Last night we went to Saddle Ranch. You saw a little clip of that. That was fun, super low key. Just got a couple drinks and um, just had a little St. Patty's night. But this morning I'm in this little outfit because I'm going to work out in a little bit. But for now, I'm going to make some coffee i have an espresso which is amazing i actually won it on a giveaway on instagram by um from bomani cold buzz like that alcohol brand and bikini.com collab to do a giveaway of an espresso and the frother and everything so that's super fun and today i think i'm gonna do the new flavor they came out with the fudge one it's bomb so let's make that Okay, so update, I didn't make coffee. I worked out and then I made 
my smoothie that I showed you yesterday. Now I'm getting some fresh air on my balcony, which is so nice. You can see downtown. Just have this little table. I'm just enjoying the weather and my smoothie. So good. Okay, so it is 7.55 at night now. Um, I am just here. There's Bear just chilling. Uh, Luis is chefing it up in the kitchen. And I am making some selects from Motel Rocks right now um, for an up main clothing haul I know that's like a really popular brand and they're very on trend um, and I have never ordered from them so I thought it would be really fun to do a clothing haul and order from them good morning it is Friday morning and I actually did my face today and washed my hair we're having an on-point day hopefully I mean, I still need to do my hair, but it's clean, and I'm getting a lot of things done today, and it's just gonna be a good day. So today, i um, doing some work for my brand, and vlogging, of course, and then going to dinner later, um, and I'll take you along for all of that. Um, but first, I wanted to show you guys something that um, I was sent that is so cool. So. Um, it's by the brand Eco Roots, and their whole purpose is to um, provide more sustainable products, zero plastic, no waste, etc. Um, so what I got is the shampoo and conditioner bars, and to be honest, I was always kind of unsure about shampoo and conditioner bars. Like I would see people use them or people talk about them on YouTube, and I was like, eh. I feel like that won't work because like my hair gets really oily so I like to like have a really good shampoo and conditioner but I have used it a couple times now and it actually it's amazing oh and what's amazing is each bar of shampoo and conditioner lasts up to 50 washes has all natural ingredients and made in the USA um 552 million shampoo and conditioner bottles are thrown away each year so these this company is doing something amazing because i never really thought about how wasteful shampoo and conditioner bottles are but they're actually very wasteful and this has zero waste it's literally just the soap and what's also really cool is that it since it's a solid you can travel with it so easy um, if you guys are interested in shopping, use my code Julia MacLonen, all caps, um, and shop through the link in my description. Also, it's very affordable, which is really nice because I truly have been loving it. My hair has so much volume. Like, normally my hair is pretty flat. I haven't done anything to it except let it air dry, and it's like lots of volume and they're totally chemical free and vegan and just really good for you um if you haven't switched to like paraben and sulfate free shampoo yet what are you doing um i have this one that i've already been using there's like hair on it um and this is a shampoo and a conditioner um first of all smells amazing bear smells literally so so good like my best smelling shampoo for sure and works amazing, lots of volume, loved it. I like lathered it up in my hands. Bear, you guys, he's eating the wrapping of this. Bear! Okay, you lather it up in your hands and then you literally just put it in your hair and it like gets so sudsy and good. It's honestly amazing. This is Summer Breeze, both smell really good. Louise, I'm being attacked by a bear. By a vicious bear? Yeah. And Bear. then they also sent me a second duo that I haven't used yet, um, but I'm sure it's gonna also be amazing because I was so impressed by the first one. So this one smells so good, it's fresh mint. And then the conditioner oh is citrus fresh. And I'm actually just now realizing that it's, they're not really meant to like be paired how I paired them. You can mix match anything. But oh my God, the citrus smell. Citrus 
fresh smells so good and so does mint i'm so excited about this and it's again completely like waste free which is amazing shop eco roots with my code and click on the link in the description okay hi back in the same spot but i put on um one of my tie-dye outfits from my clothing brand um we have more than just tie-dye but right now is a tie-dye sale so small business owner life i just took my tripod outside and filmed a reel promoting the sale um shop 40 percent off with code tie-dye 40 um but yeah i was just praying no one in my building came outside and saw me dancing here watch <laughs> um but yeah so that's what i just did and then i've been like rinsing and making tie-dye orders because the sale is kind of popping off which is amazing um but it's only two o'clock dinner's not until 5 45 is the only time we can get the reservation so in the meantime i might clean or do something else boring <laughs> So we are headed to dinner. I did these fun little hair ties and then I am in a cute little dinner date fit. So I just have like this white tank, leather blazer and these corduroy pink flares. Super cute, I got these pants years ago, never worn them. Thought that this would be a good night to break them out soup's cute and then for shoes i'm gonna do my little gucci these guys i feel like this is a cute outfit i hope it's a cute outfit yeah it's cute Yee. <laughs> we're out to dinner it's Spartina. I forgot my vlog camera, so it's on my phone. But we got the ricotta and wild honey with grilled olive ciabatta bread. And they served it in a heart. So cute. Got an Aperol spritz, Moscow mule. Cheers. Hey guys, so it is Saturday. Um, Luis and I just spent the morning kind of getting work done. I was packing up orders and um, things like that. But now our fun day is gonna start. And first let's go over the fit. So we have the jewels. This one's a Vivian Westwood um, knockoff, I think. I got it on Etsy. And then Divine Collective Zara Brown Ribbed Top. Um, revised denim leather pants, brown zip and then a fun little hairdo. Um, it's so messy in here, please ignore that, but we're going to the Louis Museum, and then like they have like a display on Rodeo, and then we're gonna walk around Rodeo, and then we're gonna go to um, the mall to go to Zara, and then maybe get some matcha, and then we have dinner tonight at the Nice Guy. So stay tuned for our fun day. We're at the Century City Westfield Mall. We got some lunch. They have um, pokey. So we got pokey, and then we're just sitting outside before we go shopping. Okay, so we are leaving the mall now. We got some things at H&M. We were gonna get some things at Zara, but there was like 100 people in line, not even exaggerating. Um, but I didn't bring my vlog camera out. <laughs> But I thought I would tell you guys that um, we saw Addison Rae. <laughs> um, honestly, don't really care about her, but it was kind of cool to see her in person because she just came out with that music video and I did watch it literally yesterday. And then today I saw her at the mall. Uh, people were like taking pictures with her and stuff, but we just enjoyed our food. And now we are gonna go get Bear and walk him to Chacha Matcha 
and then we're gonna drop off there and then go shopping at Urban if we have time because then we have dinner reservations at 6 45 and it's already uh four so we actually don't have that much time um but yeah that's the update Hey, hey, so we are now at the nice guy having dinner. Um, it's normally like a club, <laughs> the waiter just saw. Um, but it's a restaurant now that the, well, it's always kind of been a restaurant, but it's mostly been a club. Um, but I got my fave drink because before the pandemic, we would come here all the time and um, be here at the club and I would always get the Jojo. This is the Jojo. It's literally so good. Um, but now we're here for dinner and I still got the Jojo reliving the good life. <laughs> but here's Luis and this is the setting. What did you get Luis? Uh, Ma's Paloma. The Paloma drink the Paloma. with Casamigos. He said it's hella strong. Soup's Which I good. Like. Yeah, I love to um, This is the setting. There's just kind of a wall here and then the streets over there. But... This is us post cacti tasting, so we're very having a good time. <laughs> so we ate at the nice guy. It was super good, um, but and the drinks are just amazing. But now we're walking home. There's the Beverly Center. Where the Clippers play. <laughs> and you. <laughs> Anywho, now we're gonna go home, pick up my pup, and go to our friend's apartment for a little housewarming drink because she just moved there today. It's kind of a long walk, but we're doing it. Gotta get that exercise. <laughs> 